Who do you think you are as a bit of Strange Beasts? Because it was always billed as a family history show on television, but it was never really intended to be that thing. It was more about social history, about moments of the past which we can have a look at from the bottom up, as opposed to some of the standard historical programmes, Simon Sharma's History of Britain, which tell the story from the top down. So in that sense, it showed people that their story is relevant and that you can actually have a go. The journey itself that you see the celebrity undertake is very emotional, it's very personal, but we do touch upon various moments of British history, international history, along the way. And we have seen a changing demand across the genealogical community. People want to go far beyond just building a simple family tree, for example. They want to go into community history. They want to research the history of a house that perhaps their ancestor lived in. You know, a humble house or cottage which may not even still exist. It might have been demolished to make way for shopping centres or car parks. But they want to reconnect with their roots. They want to find out more about the places that their ancestors lived in, the jobs that they did, even the wars they went off to fight overseas. So in that sense, who do you think you are has opened people's eyes to the joys of history. It's a new way to connect. And it's a journey that I think it shows that everyone can take part in, no matter what their background, their current status, their age, their demographic. Everyone can have a go at it. That's the real joy of the programme.